Hello, all of my wonderful Viking friends out there in wherever you are. I love you all. I am super excited. I haven't posted in a while, and the reason being is because I'm getting prepared for a huge, colossal trip. Now, the Vikings, they were notorious for going on sea trips and all of that, and an homage to my ancestry, I'm going on a sea journey as well. I am going out to the Red Sea, and I am going scuba diving with whale sharks, and I'm thrilled about it. I'm a little nervous because I do not know what they eat out there in the Mediterranean. I heard about the Mediterranean diet and stuff, and I thought, well, I don't know if I can do this. We'll see what happens. I'm going to do a lot of filming, and on the back end of this here in about a month, you will see what happens. I cannot wait. You're going to have to wait till I edit it all, but... I'm super excited. Meanwhile, I have a video coming up on a broke Viking chicken tuna salad. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is go to the store and buy cans of meat. I know it's the, not the best quality meat, but when you're on a budget, sometimes you have to do what you have to do to get things done. So, if you want a really fast, easy, quick meal, you just go to the store, you buy a bunch of canned meat on sale, canned tuna, maybe some chicken. If you do pork, you can do ham, crab meat, whatever, even the little shrimp, and you just buy it if it's on sale. And it's a really easy throw together. You just throw it all into a bowl, whatever you want, a variety of it, and then you add sour cream and cheese if you're carnivore, or if you're ketovore, you can add mayo. You can do your own carnivore mayo if you want to. Uh, maybe I should do a video on that. I'll do a video on carnivore mayo. I've always done mayo in the past with olive oil. I've never done it with bacon grease? Tallow? Ghee? Probably ghee. I'm going to try it three different ways. So I'm going to do that. Meanwhile, that video is going to be fun and there's a surprise in there. I, I surprised myself when I did it <laughs> because I was put up to a challenge. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. Anyway, I came back from the gym and the reason why I go to the gym quite often, almost every day, I go from about 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. is because I have been trying diligently to get six-pack abs. Been trying so hard and I have come to the determination that I need to get rid of the subcutaneous fat that is around my abdomen. And after doing some digging and doing some research, I need to button up my food choices. I've been eating a lot of cottage cheese and a lot of, well, cheese in general. Um, and I drink coffee every morning. So there's been that dispute. Everybody disputes about the coffee thing. I like coffee. So that's what I do. But for the next month, I am going to really clean up my diet to the point where I'm going to do just fish, maybe some uh, other seafood in there like clams and oysters and scallops. And I'm going to do beef, maybe elk and venison. And I'm going to see if doing that will tighten everything up and get rid of the subcutaneous fat that I have. I did an in-body scan at the gym. I've been doing that for two months now, and it says that I've got a lot of fat accumulated around my arms and around my torso. And yes, I, I do still. Uh, if I were to guess, I would say that I probably have about 20 pounds left to lose 
which is a big deal. It's a big deal. And when I put on my scuba gear, I can feel it. So I'm in a large, but I can fit into a medium, but it's really tight. I really want to get down to a medium uh, BCD jacket, which is that flotation jacket that you see scuba divers wear. But my large suit that I put on, I, I fit snugly in that. So there's some, some hippage going on, a little bit of my butt is big. So I would like to really tone that up, really get that squared away. And hopefully I can get that all fixed within the next couple of months, if not sooner. Now, like I said, I don't know what they eat in the Mediterranean. I am going to be curious if the American Mediterranean diet is actually true. I am very curious. And I know there's going to be some variances around there. Italy, they probably eat differently than um, Spain or Northern Africa, for example. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, look forward to my video. If you want to comment, please definitely comment. I am looking for ideas and strategies how to keep people focused and keep people on the ketogenic, ketovore, or carnivore diet, whatever you choose, how you keep focused. Are you a person that needs a, a schedule, a routine, monotony? Are you a person that needs a variety and and different foods at different times and maybe spontaneity. Whatever you need, write in the comments below to keep you on track, to keep you focused, to keep you motivated and geared up for the next day. Do you need to plan it out or are you okay with doing whatever whenever you want to do it? So yes, yeah, so it's going to be a short video. I'm going to end it here. Keep focused, my friends, stay the course, and Rika till.